Pro Group Management. Workers' Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Authorities have now ID'd all three victims found dead in a West Las Vegas apartment earlier this week. The Clark County Coroner's Office reports they all died of stab wounds. 43-year-old Andrew Gradden, 45-year-old Christopher Brassard, and 80-year-old Dina Vale, who was stabbed in the head, neck, and chest. They were found dead Tuesday inside the Rancho de Montana complex, and police believe the suspect knew the victims and was seen carrying a large mace or sledgehammer-like weapon. Now to that suspect briefly appearing before a judge this week. 30-year-old Spencer McDonald faces three counts of open murder and one count of attempted murder. Police say two were killed inside an apartment unit. A maintenance worker who responded to a welfare check at the apartment was also killed. And police say another maintenance worker was attacked but is expected to survive. An outgoing Metro Police Department Assistant Sheriff Jim Seabock is being investigated by the Nevada Commission on Ethics for using his Metro uniform while running for Henderson City Council. Our Journal's Renee Semerauer has the latest. According to a panel determination, that determination, which was dated Monday, relates to, quote, Seabock's conduct as a public employee and associated implications under the ethics law. A complaint filed with the Ethics Commission said that while Seabock was running for Ward 1, he sent mail to voters in February with a photo of him in his uniform and badge. Seabock told the Review Journal he was elected to the Henderson City Council in April and is retiring from Metro July 5th. The Nevada Commission on Ethics has made it clear in the past that no local law enforcement is allowed to use their badge um, or their uniform to promote a campaign, even their own campaign. The commission also is investigating Governor Joe Lombardo, who is alleged to have committed multiple ethics violations by using his sheriff's badge and uniform during his campaign for governor. So, Renee, what will happen to Governor Lombardo if the committee finds him in violation? Well, if commissioners find the governor had willfully violated ethics rules, there could be civil penalties or a petition for removal. Renee, thank you. Over on the west side near Rhodes Ranch area is a new park breaking ground with quite a long name. Here's a look at this week's groundbreaking of the TP Lane and Patrick Lane Neighborhood Park, which has a little something for everyone. Very much needed in this area, a social gathering families. So we're really excited about being able to bring this opportunity here to you. Uh, we're going to have a lot of activities. Clark County's leaders say this new park will include four dog runs, a restroom, two tennis courts lined for pickleball, a shade shelter, two playgrounds, splash pad and parking. It's set to open sometime next year. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. We're still seeing hot temps this evening, only cooling to the low 90s. Won't get down to the 80s until right before midnight with clear skies. On to your 7-day forecast, which includes an excessive heat warning on the way. On Friday, a high of 105 and low of 80 degrees. The heat warning starts Saturday, when we may reach the 110 degree mark through Sunday and Monday. On Tuesday, a mild cool down, but still brutally hot, so stay hydrated. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. The Rio's landlord announces partnering with four architectural and design firms, which worked on Vegas's most iconic properties. That's including Vegas-based Marnell Companies, with a portfolio that includes the Bellagio. Also, Fettel, GGID, and Lifescapes International partnering with Dreamscape Companies. After they take over the Rio's operations by year's end, they're planning to fully renovate the hotel rooms, casino floor, meeting and convention space, and five acres of pools. Expect a, quote, tapestry of colors and textures. Sports, brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Hey Vegas fans, this is David Edstrom. I just got uh, selected by, by you guys in, uh, in the first round. Uh, I'm uh, 
extremely honored and proud to be a part of this organization. The 2023 NHL draft has come to an end and the Golden Knights have added four new players to the organization, starting with David Edstrom. Vegas selected Edstrom 32nd overall in the first round of this year's draft. The 18-year-old forward from Sweden helped his country earn a silver medal at the 2023 Under-18 World Junior Championship. For more on this year's draft class, go to LVRJ.com. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. A 10-year-old with a blood disorder is granted his own personal wish. Jaden Estrada's session arrived at the Smith Center for Performing Arts by Limo, where the Make-A-Wish Foundation surprised him with his wish for acting lessons. On this day, June 6th, your wish for acting lessons, my friend, is coming true. <laughs> He received a private master class with Broadway musical lead from the Tina Turner musical, Roderick Lawrence. Session also received a VIP backstage tour for Tina Turner the musical, a chance to participate in rehearsal, and he lit the house before the show's opening. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Aces were six and a half point favorites over the Liberty in tonight's showdown at Michelob Ultra Arena and William Hill Sportsbook made the WNBA powers minus 145 favorites to meet in the 2023 WNBA Finals. A bet against that matchup pays plus 122. The Aces and Liberty are minus 500 favorites to win the WNBA championship while the field pays plus 375. In Entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlies, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlies.com to see who's playing. A bit of comedy, a bit of acrobatics. Spiegel World's high-flying, ever-popular show The Hook takes on Atlantic City. Review Journal's John Katsimidis gives us a sneak peek. Spiegel World is taking its show on the road, or should we say the boardwalk in Atlantic City, where the stage show The Hook and adjacent restaurant Super Frico open this weekend at Caesars Atlantic City. This is going to take place in the Warner Theater, which was built in 1929. It's a 460 seat space. We're going to have multiple cocktail bars, the restaurant, and there's nothing like this project in Atlantic City. And we're looking forward to seeing it in July. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. See you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.